So this is question number one from triangle optional exercise. The question is in triangle PQR, PS as you can see in the figure also PS is bisector of angle PQR that means here these two angles will be equal. Now you have to prove that QS by QR so that means this QS by SR is same as PQ by PR. Okay. So as you can see uh, these sides are coming in these two triangles. Now if these two triangles will be similar then you can prove this ratio will be equal. But here if you will see in these two triangles what are equal? These two angles are equal as it is given. Uh, but you can't say anything about the remaining angle means this angle or this angle. Obviously this angle S this angle S will not be equals to this one and also this angle S will not be equals to angle Q. Okay. So you cannot prove that these two triangles will be similar. Okay. So here we have to do some construction. Okay. So let's see what construction you can do here. So you have this PS bisector PS. So what I'm doing here, I'm just constructing another line. From here, okay, so which is parallel to PS. So now we are uh, taking PS a line from another line, which is parallel to PS. We will draw from this end R. Now if we will extend this one up to here so you can just name it something so here I'm making it T okay so TR we have constructed which is parallel to this PS now let's see how we will prove this question so here you know that this angle and this angle both are equal why as PS is the bisector bisector given so now if these two are equal then this angle will be also equals to these two angles will be equal they are alternate angles now if you will see this orange and this one this angle will be also equal as these are corresponding angle now you can see as the opposite angles are equal then you can say that the side TP will be same as PR okay so now we have to prove the ratios are equal so we have to prove that uh, the ratio of QS by SR and PQ by this one okay so instead of taking this we can take this side okay so instead of taking this PR if we will take the ratio of these two okay and then we will take this we can prove okay QP upon PT equals to QS upon SR this we can do how we can do as you can see that PS is parallel to the TR that we have drawn these two lines are parallel so you can see that angle Q is common in both the triangles and also we have proved that this angle T will be equals to angle P so both the angle triangles will be similar by AA so this ratio we can say easily that QP upon PT will be same as QS by SR. Okay, then in the place of PT we can replace PR. In the place of this PT we can replace PR. So we will get the required ratio. So now we will start the writing part. So here what we will do before the proof we will do the construction. So I have written draw TR parallel to PS. Now we will go in the proof. So what we will take? We will say that angle QPS is equals to angle SPR. Just make it equation number 1. The reason PS is bisector of angle QPR. That is why these two angles will be equal. Now what else we can say? that angle 
SPR is equals to angle PRT. Make it equation number two. Why these are equal? As uh, PS is parallel to TR, so both are alternate angle. And then we can say that angle QPS will be same as angle T. This is equal equation number three. The reason will be same for this that PS is parallel to TR. Now you can see from equation number one, two, and three. What you can write? QS is same as SP. Okay, so these two are equal. So you can say that angle PRT is equals to angle T. So this we will write here from equation one, two, and three. Angle T will be same as angle. PRT. So if both these angles are equal, then the opposite sides are equal. So you can write. So which side will be equal? Opposite to T, we have side PR. So PR will be equals to side PT. Okay. Side opposite to equal sides, equal angles. In triangle, which triangle we are taking? PTR. We are saying about PTR. So this we have done here. Now, as I have told earlier, what we will do? So now, now we will go in triangle QPR and triangle QTR. So you know that angle Q is common and Angle QPS is same as angle T from equation three. We have proved already, so we can say that your QPR will be similar to triangle QTR by AA criteria. So now these are equal. So if these are equal, then you can say. That as triangle QPR is similar to triangle QTR, so you know that this corresponding sides ratio will be equal. So we can write QP by PT will be same as QS by SR. But you know that from equation number you can make it four. So PR is equals to PT. This is your equation, so you can make it. Three also, but PR is equals to PT as we have proved earlier. So we will replace our PT with PR with PT. So it will be QP by PR will be same as QS by SR. So hence we have proved the required ratio. So hence it is proved.